gentlemen, and welcome to Christmas Sound. So good to see you. We're in for a fantastic afternoon. If you're not already in the spirit of Christmas, you're going to be after the concert today. So we're so delighted that you've come to share with us today. The music's going to be wonderful. We're really looking forward. You'll meet our guest soloist a little later on. But the man who makes it all happen, our musical director for the day, how about your great bandmaster, Ken Waterworth of the Melbourne Star Fans. Well, friends, we do want you just to sit back to relax. We're trusting that in a, a fresh way today, you'll be reminded of the message of hope that we find in the message of Christmas. God who came out of love for us each. Thank you. 
Our special guest for this afternoon's concert is an acclaimed actress, singer and recording artist, having performed throughout Australia with Opera Australia and the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. Best known for her portrayal of Christine in the world tour of Phantom of the Opera, and she has also toured as a guest artist with Josh Groban. Our guest has been a principal artist and performing leading, leading roles in both opera and musical theatre, and has received both a Green Room Award and Helpman Award nomination. You're certainly in for a treat this afternoon when you hear this young lady sing, so I'd like you to please welcome our, our guest this afternoon, Claire Lyon. to be up here performing amongst these incredible instrumentalists and of course uh, with Maestro Ken Waterworth. Would you please give them another round of applause? <laughs> this is my third time actually performing with the Melbourne Staff Band. The last time was back in 2018 at Hamer Hall as part of their Christmas Melodies concert, which I think they're doing in about a week or so. So if you want another concert to go to, some more Christmas music that's in a couple of days' time. But I think we can all agree that it really truly does just start to feel like Christmas when you hear the band play. It's such a beautiful, nostalgic sound. So it's such a treat to have me back. Thank you so much. 
Uh, this next carol is a new one I learnt for this afternoon. This one is called On a Still and Starry Night. Falling snow lights a glow carols on the air shining stars open arms laughter
a hope, light in darkness, promised and expectant, faith waiting in the silent night, longing, a faith, a hope gave life, not from us, but for us, a gift not earned, given freely, reclaimed, a joy, all souls are filled, freedom for the captive, we are seen by the heart of God, valued, a peace, restoring life, balm to a hurting world, this one night that makes all things new, renewed. A child, Emmanuel, a gift given to save, fulfilled promise of God with us, the Christ, a hope, a Christmas hope, as promised long ago. This child, this Christ, brings life to all, to all.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I love that carol. So it's been quite a big year for me. My fiance Dave and I welcomed our first little baby boy into the world back in May. His name is Angus and he loves music and loves listening to me sing as long as it's not too loud. <laughs> and in particular, he loves a percussive kind of sound. So, you know, his little shakers that he has and the sound of the drums and the hi-hat and that sort of thing. So you should have seen his face when I was practicing this next carol at home. He honestly looked like a little cartoon character <gasps> with his face and his eyes wide open um, when the rehearsal track was on. So I think you might know which song I'm referring to. This one is Little Drummer Boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much, friends. We're just about at the end of Christmas sounds this afternoon. We really trust that you've sensed the message of the hope of Jesus Christ that is offered to us in this season of the year. And I think to myself, what is it that I will be thankful for this year? And maybe that's a question you can ask yourself. What is it that you'll be thankful for this year? Not what is it that you think others will be thankful for. Not what is it that you think you should say. But what is it that will really matter most for you. There's a verse of scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 that says, Thank God for this gift too wonderful for words. Too wonderful for words. I'd like to think that that this year for myself... I'll come to Christmas Day and I will cherish that day as I reflect on every blessing that's mine. But let's be real. You know, sometimes there's this almost this idyllic picture that we paint of what will happen. For me, this year, Christmas Day will be spent with my gorgeous wife, Deborah, my daughter and her husband and my three grandsons will, with, will be with me. So here's the deal, folks. It's going to be noisy. It will be. It's going to be noisy. Quite frankly, I think it'll be messy as well. I'm sure that we'll have one of the best tablecloths on the table, but quite frankly, it's going to get dirty. There's going to be gravy spilt. All sorts of things will will happen for sure. And there'll be lots of noise. In the midst of all that, it's almost like there'll be times of chaos because you know, our grand- grandsons, they're quite young and... We want them to enjoy that day, to cherish, to, to have, to, to really enjoy being together as family. And I remind myself that it's amidst chaos that actually God sent Jesus. It's in the midst of messiness that he came because of his love and his desire to actually make a difference for all humanity. And so on Christmas Day, for me... I want to cherish every moment. So when the kids are a little bit edgy, when actually the little ones need to sleep, that's good, that's fine. Don't think for a moment that God can't handle the messiness of life. That's why Jesus came. That's why God decided that he wanted to come and to live amongst us and to do everything that was needed so that the mess could be resolved for us, so we could experience a life that was full of joy and hope, this hope that we, we've heard about this afternoon. God promises that he makes that available for every single one of us. And so for Christmas Day this year, but Christmas broader, I'll be thankful for that day. I'll be thankful for the gift of family. I'll be thankful for friends that I get to, sh- to share my life with. I'll be thankful that God thinks I'm okay. And I trust that this Christmas, as you reflect, you'll realise that as God looks at you and he sees what's happening in your life, he looks at you and he thinks you're okay. He really does. And he just wants that you would do life with him, that we'd have relationship together. We have so much to be thankful for. Oh
There's so much to 